Hey Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your December singles reading, looking for new love. Um, and this is for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you're currently in a relationship, this is not your reading. And uh, I will be doing additional readings for those, so be sure to check back. All right. So let's get right into it here. What do Gemini singles need to know about new love for December 2020? Message for Gemini, please. We have the Ten of Wands, Strength, Knight of Coins, and the Seven of Wands. Beautiful. Ace of Wands, I like that. Five of Wands. Nine of Cups, oh, that's beautiful. Two of Wands. Eight of Wands. The Hanged Man. The Chariot. The Sun. And the Empress. Holy crap. Okay, and I mean holy crap in a really good way. <laughs> okay, I like this for you guys. Oh my god, such a good reading. Okay, um, I really hope you're looking for a long-term relationship because that's what you're getting. So, here we go. So, what we have here is... This is your... This is your current uh, your current energy. This is the overarching energy of the reading, okay? So we have the 10 of wands. So you're walking, you're 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 at the end of a cycle. Okay, you're at the end of a cycle. You are actively walking towards something new, right? The 10 10 are an ending, but they're also a new beginning, right? Because we have the numerology in there, 1 plus 0 is 1. Okay? So you have the universe at your back, so you're using your inner strength, you're using your intuition, your wisdom, and your resources in order to propel you forward, okay, in a very, very strong way, right? You're making, you're solid, you're stable, you're making a good plan for the future, right? To relieve yourself of the burdens and the worry, and you're doing a lot of inner work, a lot of healing, a lot of planning for the future, right? Um, and you're going to rise above, uh, rise above anybody. So the seven of wands is a funny little energy sometimes, but I like to see it quite often as being seen, rising above people. Um, it can be a card of competition and you rising above that competition or above people or standing your ground. Okay. So it's like we, ha we do have a very grounding energy with the knight of coins and again, your inner strength. And this is what's propelling you and what's moving you forward and to relieve you of the, the burdens and the stress that come with the Ten of Wands. So you are moving towards something better and you know what you want and you're going for it Don't, with the Knight of Coins, right? Of course, you have that solid, stable plan to move forward, right? You're not going forward really fast, but you are moving forward, okay? I like to see the forward momentum, okay? And... You have a a renewed sense of purpose, a renewed sense of passion, a new opportunity, a new beginning, a new start. You're embracing it, right? You've been through some very hard times with the Ten of Wands. It's a long, arduous journey and uh, probably a very personal journey and maybe some a little bit of a spiritual journey also, okay? But what you've done is you've, you've shed that from your past and you've embraced a new opportunity, uh, that will allow you to move forward. So you could be, so you are actively trying to manifest something here. Okay. And with the five of wands energy, uh, it's like there's a lot of people involved. So you might be doing a lot of socialization, um, a lot of activities. So you could have, uh, it's, it's like you're trying to find ways, oof, it's like you're trying to find ways to meet new people, right? Lots of wands energy here, right? Quite a bit of wands energy in this reading. I do like the wands energy because it usually is a lot of activity and forward momentum and like a fire in your belly, 
Okay. So you're, you're embracing a new idea of how to move forward. And, you know, like I said, how to meet new people. So you could be with the, with the five of wands energy, you could be, you could be doing some physical activities, um, collaborating with a lot of people, depending on what country you live in or what state or, um, what your local restrictions are. It's a weird kind of year that way, especially for singles, right? You know, for good luck trying to meet someone. It's like, you know, what do you do? Sit, you know, sit at home if you're under lockdown or quarantine and look out your blinds and wait for the FedEx guy or something. But I feel that you're being a little more inventive than that. And you are taking action to move forward. So you could be doing um, some online dating, something with some quick communication and lots of action. And this can also be a lot of act, a lot of um, competition, right? It's like you, you might have a lot of choices or a lot of people might be vying for your attention. Okay, and you could as well also have, have joined like a gym or something that, that gets you out there and, and gets you in front of other people. Okay, and so again, you're, you're trying to manifest this, this new opportunity, this, you know, new people, new ways to meet people, right? And you're putting your, you're putting your dreams out there. You're, um, with the Nine of Cups is like the Wishes Coming True card. And it's one step away from the Ten of Cups, which is your ultimate happy ending. Okay, so this is you. You're you're actively putting this into motion so that you can realize your wishes come true. And you want emotional fulfillment. You want something that you can move forward and build a family and have that solid, stable foundation. Okay, so your potential person. So this is an um, interesting card. So... Um, so the two of wands is quite often a card of um, planting new beginnings, walking through a portal to something new, walking away from the past. This this person might actually be doing a little bit of reflection on the past um, since they're pointing that way. Um, and they do have the world in their hands. So they are looking, they are looking at it's. I don't usually get the feeling of like contemplation with the two of wands as a like in the past like because the two of wands is usually represents someone looking forward to the future so it's like where this person is standing between the two wands that what often represents a portal it's like they're they're about to and they're just giving one last glance on the past uh, possibly to put it to bed Right, and, and to complete their walking away from it. Um, clarify this two of wands for me, please. Clarify this two of wands for me. Judgment. Okay. So there, yeah, it's it's like, so judgment, um, judgment is a card of uh, a karma. Uh, karma, um... It's like, yeah, it's like, you know what? It's like this person is making amends with the past, right? They're, they've made amends with the past so that they can move forward. And they've done some soul searching, right? The judgment is also like answering the call. Um, think of judgment day, right? People talk about judgment day, you know, when you, uh, when you pass on or you have that kind of awakening. Um, you know, it's like looking back on your past reflection of your life and um, in this case, it's card number 20, which, uh, breaks down to a two. So in essence, you have two twos here, right? So two twos. So this is your, this is a potential person for you. So it's like they've, um, they've done some real deep soul searching, right? And looking back on the past and they're learning from the past so that they can move forward. Okay. And how they're moving forward is very quickly. The eight of wands is fast forward momentum. Um, so it's like they've made amends with the past and with themselves or with people in their past to allow them to move forward. Okay. I like this. I like this because it actually, to me, this indicates a level of maturity. Okay. And they are moving forward and they're moving forward with a very quick momentum. And this is also a very quick communication as well. Okay. And they are they're going to take some time out to realize just pause and reflect and gain some inner enlightenment. 
Okay, and this can be in regards to you once once you meet this person. Okay, because again, you know, again with the seven of wands here, this can be you really standing out. So this can be you standing out with all this competition and you could meet this person either through, uh, you know, online dating if that's what you're doing or through some sort of social group or physical activity, right? The gym, maybe you've taken up playing soccer, you know, something along those lines, right? Some sort of group activity, but you're going to shine here. Right. You're going to be the one that shines. You're going to be like, you know, you you might actually hit them like a ton of bricks. Right. Because you're very strong. They see you. Right. They see you. So but you might you might cause them to really just pause and reflect again. Don't forget, they've done some karmic healing and they've made amends with the past. Right. So um, it's like it's like the speed the speed that you guys meet or the speed of your communication or um, almost like a suddenness to it uh, causes them to, to just go, go, go right back within, right? And just go, whoa, 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 hold on a second. Is this really my wishes coming true person, right? And that's not a bad thing, okay? You know, a lot of people really don't like the hanged man because it's really not a card of action. It's really just a card of um, standing still even though he's hanging upside down, okay? Um, I don't mind the hangman, to be really honest with you. And it's because I feel that we, in order to, it's not a card of doing something on a whim, okay? And you already have the Knight of Coins as part of your energy. So it's like you aren't doing anything on a whim either, right? And you are, you do make plans and you do move forward a little bit slowly. Okay. So for this, for your potential person to also be, be willing to do that and really look within and gain that enlightenment and do some soul searching and make sure that you are their person, that is not a bad thing. Okay. It's not fast, right? But it's not a bad thing. Okay, because you might actually scare them a little bit because <laughs> you you are very fiery and passionate, right? And you've you've got your shit together and you're very, very strong, right? And you know exactly what you want. With the nine of cups, you know what you want. Okay. So I think this person has realized why making amends with the past, they know what they want too, but they just can't quite believe that that is you. Okay. So but don't worry, they will because holy crap, man. Okay. So in your outcome of this relationship, okay, we have the chariot, fast forward momentum, everything in alignment, heart, body, mind, soul, you're all in alignment, you're grabbing the reins, you're flooring it, you're putting the pedal to the metal and moving forward, moving forward to ultimate completion, happiness, success, joy, uh, everything that you could possibly ever want. And it's a beautiful, beautiful relationship that allows you to move forward, start something new. It's nurturing. It's beautiful. You, you find each other incredibly attractive, but in a way that, um, in a way that you want to create something with each other. So your outcome, by the way, I will point it out if you're not a hundred percent familiar with tarot. Okay. The Chariot, the Sun, and the Empress, they're all major arcana cards. And major arcana in the tarot is universal life lessons. It's like parts of your life that you have to go through in order to level up and move on to the next thing, okay? So it is the universe at your back, spirit, angels, guides, whatever, whatever resonates with you, whatever you want to call it, okay? You are being guided. So this here is a beautiful, beautiful spiritually guided union right and yeah it might freak your potential person out it doesn't freak you out right it doesn't freak you out with the nine of with the nine of cups up here it doesn't freak you out because you know and you you you've made these plans you know exactly what you want you've manifested this person and you've manifested this relationship i mean if there's if there's ever an outcome to a relationship that is you know the epitome of manifestation you got it and you're doing something right. Okay. You're certainly doing something right. And this is long-term, this is long-term success. I mean, you know, for the sun to come out in, 
um, you know, in, in a potential outcome for a relationship is just, it's beautiful. It really, really is. And I think you guys will have the drive, strength, and determination to move forward with it. Find your ultimate happiness, right? And yeah, you could be with the Empress. You could be, it's the start of something new. It's like, it's like, this is the person you want to start a family with however that looks for you and it is full of abundance and possibility and beauty and it is such a beautiful a beautiful outcome for you right so and this is fast as well so I think that you're going to meet this person pretty quick you've already put this into motion yourself okay and the eight of wands is very very fast momentum very very fast moving energy um You could even, this could be like eight days, eight days, maybe eight weeks at the most, but an eight, eighth of December, maybe, but it's fast. It's fast. You're going to move, you're going to meet this person very quickly. If you haven't already, you might've already met this person and this can be, the, they might communicate you with you really, really fast. Okay. So hold on to your hat because you've manifested it, you've wished for it, and this is this is coming in, so embrace it, okay? So I'm gonna get you guys one last piece of advice, and here we go. So there's your card. Stop, fo stop focusing on this situation for a while and just bring your awareness within. Close your eyes, relax, and let go. Take a walk in the park or do whatever it takes to detach. A solution will soon become obvious and all will work out fine. Okay, so I think this is a message for your person. Um, it's also a message for you. Okay, so you've planted the seeds, you've put your activity in motion and things will work out, right? So even if this person kind of puts the brakes on this a little bit, um, it, it it's it looks like it's gonna work out for you. So don't be don't be freaked out if this person does just, you know, go within for a bit after you meet them, because uh, it's like you sent them there, <laughs> but not in a bad way, not in a bad way. Okay, so just take things as they come. Right, good things take time. Okay, good things take time, and they do require some inner enlightenment there. But your and your outcome is beautiful. So just a little bit of patience, I think, will be required in regards to your person. And if you give them that little bit of space that they need, because you've thrown them for a loop, right? And then everything will work out just fine. Okay, I love this reading for you guys. I mean, this is just <laughs> this is an incredibly beautiful outcome. It really, really is. Like. Wow. Okay. So I hope something in here resonated for you. I hope there's a message that helped you out. And uh, if so, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I hope you guys have a wonderful December, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.